hey guys so a lot of people have been asking me how to install the bp monitor on the galaxy watch active 2 along with the ecg monitoring all of this without using any pc or any complicated method not just that in fact uh, i will also try and show you how to calibrate the bp which seems to be more sort of uh, difficult but uh, all of that will be covered here and some other important stuff so if you're new to the channel subscribe also like this video guys because it takes a lot of effort to make these kind of videos so definitely subscribe and like this video let's begin so installing the bp and ecg monitoring is fairly simple just make sure that the watch is connected to your smartwatch and go into the galaxy wearable app and just make sure that uh, in the watch settings you have the third party installation source enabled as you can see here so that we can actually sideload the apps onto the watch now the next step is to just download a couple of files i'm going to show you and i'll also give you a link to the files in the description all the credit goes to the developers at the xda i'll drop a link to the thread as well you can check out that link so you need to install a couple of apps here the first one is the samsung health monitoring app just like you would sideload any other app so once it is done open this and also set it up and make sure that you give all the accurate details so that it gives you better and more accurate results now once the setup is done it looks something like this it says the watch is not found don't worry now you need to go back to the file manager and let's install the other app now this one is installed on your watch once this is done you can actually see the icon on the app section of your watch but just take a couple of seconds and wait for it to appear in the app section and as you can see here you can see the icon and once i open the app it asks permissions for the sensors and you can see here options for blood pressure and also the ecg is available but there is more to it i mean you need to calibrate this and that's the more important part of this so if i open the samsung health monitoring app here now you can see that we have the options for both blood pressure and the ecg now this is very important guys if you want to calibrate the bp you need to have a bp machine also there are so many instructions that you need to follow thoroughly so that you get better and accurate results so be serious about it so just to give you an idea about the procedure firstly click on the calibrate option and uh, wear the watch on one hand and uh, the bp machine on the other hand as you can see here now you need to start measuring the bp machine here so that whatever the results that you get on the bp machine you need to manually enter on the watch and you should repeat this process three times and here you can see this is my second time and you need to enter the value uh, from the bp machine into the watch uh, so that it gets calibrated for better results it would be best if you can visit your nearest doctor but honestly guys personally i would never rely on these smart watches for conditions like bp or checking out ecg or spo2 simply because these cannot replace the medical grade equipment so i do not recommend using these features on the watch at least until samsung officially rolls these features out and there is a reason why they haven't probably because they couldn't clear the local regulations so you need to keep that in mind now it's fine if you want to show off to your friends your watch has an ecg feature that's all right but not really for serious uses so finally after repeating this three times the bp is calibrated and i can start using the feature but i'm not going to comment on the accuracy because honestly i haven't really used it however calibrating the ecg wasn't that difficult just click next and follow all the instructions and also choose which wrist you want to use it on and that's pretty much it and also while you are measuring it just place your finger on this particular back button as you can see and uh, it will take about 30 seconds and you will get the measurement but like i said don't ever use these as primary devices or rely on these smart watches so anyway that's been it guys please like this video also subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you soon